हवा बहेगी उज्जवल उज्जवल होगा कोना कोना निर्मल होगा विश्व कहेगा जय भारत जाग उठेंगे भाग्य हमारे स्वच्छ बनेगा ये The walls of Rajkot in Gujarat are like scrolls. Painted bright with messages, they have become key to the city's campaign about its waste management problems. Artists from all over Rajkot have painted the walls not only for awareness but also to prevent people from spitting and littering around them this is only one part of rajkot's solid waste management program with citizen and local body initiatives rajkot has jumped from the 32nd to the 7th position on the swachh bharat survey ratings of 2016 This is no small feat achieved in less than 2 years. The city also tops the list in door to door collection, sweeping and transportation of waste. These honors are hard earned. Rajkot has worked consistently towards a sustainable solid waste management system for the city. With a population of over 13 lakhs, Rajkot generates 550 tons of garbage per day. It has struggled with street side garbage dumps and stray cattle for years. To change this, the municipality used the elementary formula of sustained public participation, strict implementation of laws, and a waste management plan that focused on all aspects of waste generation. म्यूनसिपल सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड हैंडलिंग रूल्स 2000 जो केंद्र सरकार ने वो फ्रेम किया उसके बाद में हम लोग ने एक डिपार्टमेंट भी सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट का एक डिपार्टमेंट बनाया उसमें सब एनवायरनमेंट इंजीनियर है उनका एक टीम बनाया पूरे राजकोट में हमारा 1330 जो कंटेनर था तो कंटेनर हम लोग देखते हैं कि कंटेनर इज सेल्फ न्यूसेंस तो हमने ये सोचा कि कंटेनर को इसको रिमूव करने रिमूव करने का प्रोसेस शुरू कर दिया लेकिन हम लोग देखते हैं कि भाई एक बार जो कंटेनर होता है उसको हम उठा लेते हैं तो फिर भी पब्लिक का जो हैबिट होता है उधर कचरो डालना वो वो बंद करना बहुत मुसीबत होता है तो हमने काफ़ी उसमें मेहनत कर दी है और आज के दिन में हमारा टू फिफ्टी टू कंटेनर है एवरी सिंगल रेजिडेंट ऑफ राजकोट इंजॉयज डोर स्टेप वेस्ट कलेक्शन सर्विसेज नो मैटर हाउ पुअर और वेल्दी The city has the enviable distinction of having achieved 100% success in door-to-door -door collection of waste. This waste was previously dumped anywhere at all, but not all of it was collected manually from dumps across the city on open vehicles. पहले क्या रहता था कि पब्लिक या स्वीपर्स कूड़ा कचरा एक ठा करके वो डस्टबिन में डालते थे कंटेनर में फिर कंटेनर जब फुल लोडेड हो जाए तब तो फिर लिफ्ट होता था जो कंटेनर दो तीन दिन तक नहीं रहता तो उसमें से बदबू आने लगती थी तो इसके हिसाब से आजू बाजू की पब्लिक की सबकी ये कंप्लेन रहती थी इसके हिसाब से ये डस्टबिन रिमूव करके हमने ये टिपर गाड़ी चालू करवाया तो टिपर गाड़ी से क्या रहता है डायरेक्ट सीधा पब्लिक के घर से ही 
कलेक्शन और फिर सिर्फ डंप हो जाता है डायरेक्ट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में ये हमको बेनिफिट पूरा रहता है यहाँ All this was disposed at the Nakarwadi landfill. The landfill has reached its capacity of 50,000 tons and has now been scientifically capped. Another area has been scientifically prepared nearby to accommodate up to 4 lakh tons of garbage that the city will be producing in the near future. The corporation is also setting up various disposal facilities in the city to keep up with its growing waste. A waste to energy plant with a capacity of 350 tons per day is under construction at Nakarwadi and is scheduled to be operational by the end of 2016. The new plan for solid waste management ensured that approximately 284 GPS enabled mini tippers were deployed in each ward to collect waste and cover the entire city. The tipper trucks make rounds thrice a day, collecting waste so that no dustbins are required and the roads are garbage free. The corporation has also targeted other areas where waste accumulates or is still thrown out. Streets are swept twice a day and waste is collected in wheelbarrows and disposed of in mini tippers. The tippers collect refuse from households in the morning. Commercial collection happens post lunch. The system success is based on the willing participation of every citizen. for they must not dump their waste anywhere but in the tippers fines are imposed for discarding waste elsewhere they transport waste to transfer stations from where the waste is taken in larger vehicles to the landfill site at nakarwadi rajkot is slowly moving towards becoming a binless city To achieve 100% collection and improved segregation, the Rajkot Municipal Corporation has put in place an elaborate infrastructure. These include big compactors and trucks that can carry up to 15 to 16 tons of waste in a single round catering to commercial areas. Small tippers capable of carrying 1 ton of waste in every round. 14 mini tippers to each of the 18 wards in the city one tipper to 1000 households two garbage stations each collecting about 300 tons of garbage in a day hamare paas mechanized sweeping machine hai wo saath to humne machine liya hua hai pura mechanic bada truck mounted hota hai to wo jo divider hota hai na divider ke paas mein wo pure din raat ko chalta hai तो डिवाइडर हमारा क्लीन रहता है उससे जो डस्ट जो पार्टिकल होता है तो उसका रिजल्ट भी बहुत अच्छा है वो डस्ट पोल्यूशन होता है वो सब कम होता है राजकोट डिड नॉट स्टॉप एट दीज मेजर्स इट आल्सो डिसाइडेड टू एड्रेस ओपन डेफिकेशन व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंटीग्रेटेड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम बाय द बिगिनिंग ऑफ 2016 द कॉर्पोरेशन हैड मैनेज्ड टू मेक 80% ऑफ राजकोट फ्री ऑफ ओपन डेफिकेशन तो पहले ये सोचे कि भाई ये ओपन डिफिकेशन क्यों होता है उनके पास घर में टॉयलेट है या नहीं है जो पहले तो उनके पास घर में टॉयलेट नहीं है तो हम लोग पहले उसको टॉयलेट बनाने का बोलते हैं कि भाई टॉयलेट 100 परसेंट उनके घर में बनना चाहिए तो वो काम शुरू हो गया अभी 12 बारह हज़ार टॉयलेट हमने बना दिए लेकिन काफ़ी जगह ये भी प्रॉब्लम आ रहा था कि उनका एक छोटा रूम होता है कि एट बाई एट का रूम है या दस बाई दस का रूम है वो उसमें वो पूरा रहता है तो उनके पास टॉयलेट का कोई जगह नहीं होता है कि भाई टॉयलेट कहाँ पर बनाए तो हमने पूरा कम्युनिटी टॉयलेट बना दिया आज हमारे पास 57 सेवन कम्युनिटी टॉयलेट है उसमें कोई पैसा चार्जेस देना नहीं है वो एनजीओ के हम एनजीओ को 12000 हज़ार रुपये देते हैं और 12000 में वो अपना टॉयलेट चलाता है और हम जो पब्लिक है जो आजू बाजू के जो जाते हैं वो बेनिफिशियरी है उनको एक भी पैसा देना का नहीं है ऐसी जगह है जो रेलवे की जगह है और कोई किसी की है कोई इनक्रोचमेंट है कॉरपोरेशन का जगह नहीं है तो हमने मोबाइल टॉयलेट 25 फाइव मोबाइल टॉयलेट रख दिया है तो उससे काफ़ी रिजल्ट है मोबाइल टॉयलेट में हम लोग पूरा दस सीट रहता है एक पांच लेडीज होता है पांच जेंट्स का होता है 
the corporation also cracked down on the use of plastic carry bags. It banned use of all types of carry bags and has seized more than 1,000 kilograms of plastic bags. It further took the initiative of removing stray cattle from the streets, finding them to be a major impediment in the implementation of the Swachh Bharat guidelines. There were more than 41,000 stray cattle roaming the streets of Rajkot till 2014. A major drive resulted in impounding 35,000 animals, which are housed in two special shelters developed for this purpose by the corporation. Each animal is tagged so that their owners can recover them after paying the requisite fine. The RMC plans to set up biogas plants in the animal shelters to utilize animal excreta for generating energy. Surat Municipal Corporation intends to develop underground garbage stations to reduce the smell and keep areas clean and odour free. Energy is an important component of Rajkot's future management plans. अभी एक हमने एक कंपनी को काम दिया हुआ है वो एक कंपोस्ट बनाएंगे और बाद में एक आरडीएफ रिफ्यू डीरा फ्यूल उसके बाद में वो आगे जाके पावर प्लांट भी बनाएंगे बाद में हमने एक लैंडफिल साइट फर्स्ट लैंडफिल साइट बना दिया था हमने अभी उसको ऊपर कैपिंग का काम चल रहा है उसको हम कैपिंग बंद करते हैं ऑल न्यू इनिशिएटिव्स रिक्वायर बोथ विल एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी the biggest waste management force is the Safai Karmcharis. Their data has already been digitized and their payroll and leave management was integrated with the face recognition system. The unions initially resisted this change but eventually agreed to cooperate with the new system. <laughs> While strict fines were imposed, citizen participation was also sought in implementing the programs. A citizen's initiative, Chitra Nagri, took up the beautification of city walls and painted them with murals and graffiti. More than 7,500 wall paintings have been completed under this initiative and the project is still going strong. I was watching for 2-3 years, when I was walking on the road, I was looking at all the walls on the side. There was a party show or Nata Kuala Cinema or Circus. वो दीवाल पे वो अपना पोस्टर चिपका देते थे। तो इसी वजह से जो दीवाल है, वो पूरी खराब देखने को मिलती थी। तो हमने देखा कि यदि ये दीवाल पे पेंटिंग्स किया जाए, तो कोई बिगाड़ने की हिम्मत नहीं कर कर सकता। और वो जो हमारा प्रयास है, वो सक्सेस अभी तक हो रहा है। तो एक साल में 7,400 से भी ज्यादा � Another citizens' initiative group organizes Priyas, a Swachhta competition. It has become an annual activity that inculcates civic sense amongst the residents. Basically, we are a group of uh, citizens of Rajkot and we are conscious of uh, civic duties. So we were all quite concerned about uh, cleanliness, especially after it came into focus. As things transpired, this was done uh, last year, in September and October of last year, in 2015. Uh, we thought if we get five to 10 entries uh, to clean up the streets of Rajkot, it will be a job well done. But finally, we were overwhelmed because we had 280 teams which participated in this competition. And uh, we kept a first prize of one lakh. 
uh, we thought this would be a, uh, an incentive for teams to come forward and participate, especially youngsters from schools and colleges. We said that you have to maintain your spot for six months. Your 50% of your prize money we will release after six months. So these teams were also motivated to keep their, whatever they had cleaned up, they kept it clean for six months. Rajkot's approach to waste management has been all-encompassing. It has shown that adequate political will with strict implementation measures and citizen participation can lead to major urban makeovers. An important industrial city in Gujarat, Rajkot's waste management reforms are the kind that other cities with burgeoning populations need to take up to keep up with the waste they generate.